hello everyone welcome to my youtube channel special data hub in this video i'm going to show you how to georeference satellite images using qgis so first we'll get our images from google Earth pro i've just started mine close this up on your search bar you type in your point of interest say university of benin it gives you different options and you choose the one you want you click search it rolls you right up to it so let's say we want to choose this spot complex as our point of interest we'll add placement markers on at least three points on the map adding placement markers is used to identify points with known coordinates on the map that we can relate to the world GIS system that's the basic idea of georeferencing relating the coordinate system of the map it can be a satellite image or a scanned map to the coordinate system in the world GIS system so from here you add placement marker it's best to add it to identify easily identifiable points on the map where you can easily take note of when you're referencing on QGIS so there are different ways to do this you can give the placement marker a name unique name and then take note right note make a good note of the coordinates or we just rough it up this way using the placement using the coordinates to name the points this is it you go on to pick four other points i've already done this before so let me just check this Now we have our four points. Zoom in finally. Then click on save image. You can give your image a title, call it um, mini bin spot complex. Sports complex. Close this, click on save image, name the image what you want, Uniben Sports. And close it. So now on your QGIS to reference you start up a new project. Click on raster, click on georeferencing, and then add an image. Add an image. Let's just use this, which I have worked a little bit on before. To georeference it, we'll fix these points into the coordinate system of the map here. So you zoom in. To ensure that you are fixing it on the exact point, not just somewhere around. And then you enter the eastern, which is this one. The difference between the degrees, minutes, and the seconds is space. So you don't need to type in degrees, minutes, and seconds symbols there. For 6.12, and here you have 6 degrees, 23 minutes, 57.13, enter. I've already done all three others. So you complete your process and, okay. Let's set the output raster name. Mm. Let's just use this. Yes. 
proceeds process done we're done here so from this point it has been georeferenced you see that little tilt it has been georeferenced let's confirm you go to your OpenStreetMap plugin if you don't already have this plugin installed go to plugins manage and install plugins type OpenStreetMap OSM OSM you see quick map services you install plugin and close it up make sure it's ticked here also this also install this OSM place search make sure it's ticked and close it go to OSM so you go to web PGIS map services OSM OSM standards and here you are you can see that it is finely georeferenced it's almost perfect the roads from the map and the OSM map is properly in line so we have done a good job you can now go on to perform any other projects which you want to perform on your map and that is it